Hello, I'm going to try and do this in one take because I really don't like editing. But here are three easy ways to totally, totally cheat at your Christmas outfit uh, and make the world's easiest techno fashion. So, number one, get yourself some TV lights. These ones are from Home Bargains and they're a tenner, but quite often you can find them half price for a fiver and sometimes you can find them on the internet for somewhere between five and ten pounds. But there you go. What you have to look for is USB, make sure they're USB, and you also need to make sure that they are five volts. If it doesn't say on it, which I don't think these ones do, um, take it out and have a look because um, I'm sure it will say it on there somewhere. The five volts is important because it means you can run it off a power bank. There are 12 volt ones, beware, don't buy the 12 volt ones. Okay, five volt ones. What comes in the pack is the strips and a USB connector, so there you are, USB connector, and some of them have an inline controller, which this one has, so there's an inline controller, just a few buttons to change it, and some of them, if you're super lucky, here's another one, uh, this one comes with, again the USB plug, but it comes with an uh, infrared receiver, which means you can remote control it. So I'm just going to show you quickly how they work pretty easy. You just plug them into your power bank. This power bank has a power switch as well. There we go. And there's your lights. So there's those ones. These ones you can change with the inline buttons. So you can cycle through colours. They also have inbuilt colour patterns so you don't even need to do any coding. Um, I'm going to switch over to the other ones. These are the ones on the white strip. They come in black and white so just pick something that matches your outfit. And these ones currently yellow. Let's make them green. Dark green. It's not very dark green, is it? It's more of a teal. Um, purple, red, etc. And you can do all sorts of interesting patterns. So you can fade through all the colours, which just basically makes it seem like, you know, you, you know what you've done with it. If you put them on white and you put them on strobe, then you can... That's not strobe. I press the strobe button. Don't know what happens. Anyway. Ooh, brightness controls. Dim. Dim the lights bright. Anyway, loads of uh, controls there. Too many controls, probably, I think. Anyway, loads of different things you can do with those. So, the simple solution is, on the back of all of them, they have tape. So all you need to do is literally just peel off that tape and then you've got sticky. So you can stick them to things. This tape is enough to hold it like all night, but uh, what I do is I just tape them on things and then put a safety pin around it through the piece of clothing as well. So if it does, come unstuck then at least they're not going to fall out and trip you up or anything like that. So grab yourself a party dress. I do have dresses, I am quite feminine sometimes. So here we are, nice party dress with fluffy skirts underneath. Find some space on your desk, put fluffy skirt down and then all you have to do is just tip the skirt back, get your sticky stuff and just stick them to the inside of the hem all the way along. I would have done a blue Peter and here's one we made earlier, but I don't have one. So basically, there we go, plug it in. Plug it in the right way up, always a help. Turn on the power bank. These ones are going to be pedantic, aren't they? There we go, turn on the power bank. And then once, once it's all stuck in with a few safety pins, just for good measure, then you basically have like an underlit glow. If you really want to show off, you can just put them on the outside as well. And then you can just have shiny lights around the bottom of your skirt. Dead easy. If you want to be a little more subtle about it, this is method number two. I'll just put that on the dog. He's going to be really pleased with me. Method number two is get yourself a sort of lacy fancy dress. One of those ones that has like a sort of under, under skirt and an overskirt as well. You can see the overskirt is kind of lacy here. Put the lights, and use words, words and doing at the same time. Put the lights under the lace and you can have a really good effect around the bottom there as well. So as you're dancing away, the lace moves a little bit and you get the kind of shimmering effect, which I think is pretty cool. So um, if you really wanted to, you could get a strip of NeoPixels and put a micro bit on it, put a circuit playground on it. You could get the same effect, but if you have no time, like me, if you have no time, basically just buy the TV lights, whack them in your dress, stick the skirt in your pocket, because all dresses need pockets. They should have pockets. And then you're good.
And the third way. I said the third way. Third way. Get yourself a cheapy headband from uh, Claire's Accessories or down the market or whatever. Make sure it fits on your head. Do I look all right? Good. Right, so, and then you buy yourself a pack of lights, which I've hooked around my keyboard, girls. Okay, there we go. So these ones take three AA batteries. Um, they came from Pound Stretcher, but you'll notice they do things. These ones are sound reactive. Um, I said Pound Stretcher, I meant Pound Land. They were a fiver from Poundland. Don't ask me how that works. But it was well worth the fiver. So inside there's some like shonky little circuit with like, a load of hot glue. But the shonky circuit and the hot glue will do for now. You can also buy just a battery pack with a strip of lights for about a quid. If you buy them in bulk, which I tend to. You saw the Halloween headdress. That, that had five of them on. And it helps if I can put a battery pack together. Anyway, ignore the battery pack thing. You'll actually be able to put the, the cover on one. So then all you do, because they're bendy little wires, just bend the wires round and round a few times. Boinky, boinky, boink. And bend these ones round as well. You would do this much neater because you're not rushing to get it on like camera and run, not run out of camera space. So get this, what I suggest is if you put like, um, if you're a ladies and you have certain straps around your shoulders, what I do is I get a coin purse and I gaffer tape it to the strap at the back. Um, if you're a chap, you might want to, oh, you should gaffer tape it like Bruce Willis does with his, with his gun in Die Hard. It's very festive. Anyway, so there we go. Now I have a sound reactive crown, which is, took me minutes. So uh, get yourself along to Poundland for some of these. They're called Beat Sync. There you go. They're called Beat Sync, and you can also get uh, just cheap ones from Primark. Sometimes as low as fifty p as well. If you um, kind of wait for the sales, they're always by the tails, and they're fifty p. Stock up where you can because you want to put lights on everything, right? Okay, that's it. That's my cheating Christmas. Three ways: TV lights, TV lights under lace, and cheap. LEDs on a wire from Poundland.